Good. Now, it's time for each. No, it's time for my favorite. And now we are going to go over to the rotation. Rotation, which is like one of my favorite ones. I love this. Okay, so let's take the, um, eh, eh. Let's take, sorry, sorry for all the little silliness that's going on. No, I'm excited. I love, love this one. This one, you don't even need to enthusiastic about learning. The, you don't even need you don't even need one for this one. It just depends on which way you're going. So let's say now we have this beautiful, beautiful little L. You see that little L? Don't take one of those. Um, but um, yes. Okay, I'm gonna do three examples. This is number one. I'm gonna do clockwise uh, a clockwise rotation. And if you didn't know, a clockwise rotation is going that way. So, when you want to rotate the figure 90 degrees, you're going to ro take this, rotate it, which is going to be here now. It's not... <laughs> Excuse me. I'm done. And now it becomes over there. Now, what about a, I know you're saying, what about a 90s? What you were saying about 180 degrees? Now, if you want to rotate it 180 degrees, that's two turns. So, you want to go 90, 180. And, <laughs> and if it's here, it will look something like that, but when it's here, it's going to look something like this. So you turned it? Yep, twice. Okay, now let me give you a trick to this whole thing. So anytime you um, rotate, we are always going to rotate on the about basis. So this is a right angle. So in order to rotate 9 degrees, you would start here. Sorry, um... Sorry about the inconvenience. Now, back to where I left off. Now, you're asking, what about a 90 counterclockwise rotation? Then this, or unless you want to take this figure, now this figure will become like this. There we go. And now, how about a 180 degrees? My little thing in the next.